the reason that Wellrite stuck out was again because of it. it's so simple, it's so easy to use and it's so fun and colorful and people want to use it. I have a lot of different ages I work with, so very young people who are very tech savvy and then a lot of people 60 plus and they still love Wellrite and can use it and it's very simple. The software piece alone is fantastic. The ability we have to customize it to exactly what we want it for, not only for us but for our clients is amazing. Wellrite always comes out with a new release and it's always things that are improved or things that we need. Um, so that's kind of what sold us. The user experience is really great. We get that feedback a lot. That the, the texting is nice and being able to have the app is great. So our employees can see the, the top 10. They can compete with each other and the challenges are fun. So probably just that competitive engagement feature. And as a dietitian, I like the, the variety and I like how they're set up. The overall look and feel of the portal. It's so simple, yet it has everything that we need. It's fun, the colors are great, it's fully customizable. The support system is awesome. I have a lot of questions because I have these really crazy ideas and I'm like, okay, could we make this work? And the support team re responds immediately. They're always really easy to get on a call with. Hey, what are you doing later today? And we'll get on and go through it. It's second to none, really. I mean, there, it's hard to beat a, a platform where you're getting healthy, but you're also really having a lot of fun while you're doing it. So I'm going to talk about habits and then how you can build habits using challenges. And then I'm going to talk about wellness programs. So habit is something that we do automatically. You have to believe that um, that you can actually do it before you even try to build a habit or you're just setting yourself up for failure. Why even bother if you don't believe that you can do that habit? The way this applies in our wellness programs and helping people choose habits, believing it, we need to have enough flexibility in our program to where people are actually choosing which habits they want to build because their chances are pretty low that they're going to want to build the habit that you selected for them. With the challenge, you want to make the challenge so everybody can win, not just one person. But leveling the playing field really, I mean, it's so super important because a lot of times we design these challenges and it's the same healthy people that do them again and again. <laughs> and so it's super important to make it so it's something that everybody can do. But I think the core and what I'm really, what we're really going to push is purpose. Because that's, you need a purpose for everything. Once you have your purpose, then you can be physically well to accomplish the purpose. You can be financially well to accomplish the purpose. You can be emotionally stable to accomplish the purpose. We're helping people become better people. And we're, we're, we're making the world a better place. Uh, as we help them become better people, they'll help other people become better people. And it's just such a noble cause that you guys are all involved in. So, so hats off to all of you. Thank you.